In this video, I'm going to show you how to fold an origami triangular box designed by Hans Werner Gut. This is a folded model. You can see it's triangular, it's from a single sheet of paper, and you can open it simply by pushing together to the two ends. I think it lends itself really well also as a small purse, or when folded from a larger sheet of paper, a more regular sized purse. For example, because this design is relatively simple, you can use some special paper, like this kind of crumpled effect paper. For the size, um, for this model I used a 6 inch square or 15 centimeter square. Then the side length of this box is 3 inches or 7.5 centimeters. The, the depth uh, varies a bit on uh, how you fold it, but let's say approximately 1 inch or 2.75 um, centimeters deep and about one and a half inches high or 3.75 centimeters high. Again, this varies depending on how much, um, how deep the box will be. And I'll point out the step where this actually um, plays a role. So let's start with a sheet of paper. Um, this one is light pink and dark pink. And we're going to start with the um, not so dominant color. So here the white. And um, I'm actually using a folding sequence that I think is different to what, what Hans Werner Gut does because I wanted to have no additional creases. So we're going to start and simply pinch on each side to then fold in the edges to the center, making a crease all the way through. Rotate and repeat. Then unfold and turn over the paper and rotate it so that the previously horizontal creases are now vertical. Then fold in half. And now comes the step that determines how deep that, um, that triangular box will be. So the distance you fold in now is exactly half of this depth, so just to the halfway point. And um, the guidance I can give is you should really stay below one fourth because else um, this, um, this finishing of the triangular box and the top won't quite work as nicely. So if you want to pinch at around a half, then you can kind of estimate that the edge shouldn't quite go all the way. Then make sure that the crease is um, nicely horizontal by aligning both creases and then only crease right in between these two points here. So just in the center and leaving the quarters on the sides untouched. Then unfold and now we want to make a crease that goes exactly through that, um, that point where this crease and that crease meet. And to do that I like to turn around the paper, this is where the intersection is, and just make a small pinch. Um, same thing on the other side, small pinch. Now that helps because now the paper will want to go into that way, uh, that point, and then you can pivot this point so that this corner lies on that crease right there. And once you've got that crease on the outside, so we're just going from this point to the outside, leaving that area untouched. And then repeat on the other side. Again, get the point and then pivot to get it to lie exactly on the crease and make a fold only from that point onwards to the outside. Then unfold and now you have valley folds on this side and on the other side these creases are mountain folds. So let's ensure that these are valley folds too or by flipping over the paper make them mountain folds. 
I think it's easier to change creases to mountain folds because you can then just pinch the paper together but you can do it however you like. So then you can kind of create this uh, box shape because all of these creases are mountains from the color side or valleys from the, let's call it white side. Uh, next, what we're going to do is essentially we're going to push this paper together and create some creases in the center. So what I want you to do is just leave it 3D um, in the bottom and align these two corners so that these edges match and these edges match. And you really want to be very precise here because this is going to then make a nice box. Then what you want to do is you want to take this finger and your thumb, you want to press this paper together, pressing with the thumb to the top and with your, uh, your other finger to the center so that this paper starts going inside. And when that's kind of um, in action, you can then press the paper together so that these two corners um, are on top of each other and collapse. Same thing on the other side. First align the edges and the corner, fix it with one hand, with the other hand just get that action going and then collapse. So then you have a completely flat model again. Now we're going to take this flap and fold it along an existing crease. Same thing on the other side. Flip it over and do the same thing. Just like that. And now we're going to finish the um, triangular box. We want to add a crease between this point and that point. Just so that uh, it looks like this. Now, what we want to do is we want to take these small flaps and insert them into the pockets. But it won't quite fit. So what we're going to do is, you can see here, you can fold this up and you see that here two points meet. You know, this point and that point, they meet right there. So we're just going to take that as an orientation point and fold um, a small pinch mark to determine how far we have to fold that top edge inside. And for me it's just a teeny tiny bit because I folded um, a quite deep box. So this is why um, you don't really want to go to a quarter quite when you determine the depth because then you can't make as nice of a finish. So here I'm just inserting so those flaps and now it fits nicely. If you make a very deep box, you won't uh, have to fold in um, even that small strip, but it probably won't quite meet this point, but you will see some of the paper underneath and um, that parting you can see here. And I don't think that's quite as nice. So repeat on the other side, fold inside, then make a small pinch to check how far in you have to fold. Um, fold in that small strip of paper and then insert the flap into the first pocket and the second pocket. And then just strengthen the creases. Your triangular box is basically done already. You're just going to open it and with your finger you can see here you can push it flat, push it flat. It's probably hard to see this on camera, but here you can see, just push the paper flat. Seeing, looking at it from the other side, here you make it 3D again. And then your triangular box by Hans Werner Gut is all done. And here, open the box and close it again. I think it's a beautiful model. I hope you enjoyed it and happy folding.